Okay, I'm about to leave, but I'm meeting my friend at a coffee shop today. We're gonna be cute and I'm gonna read. So I thought I would just take you on like a little, well, I guess reading vlog, if you will. So, okay, let's go. I'm gonna be late. <laughs> My trusty little tote bag. I have got way too much, honestly. I'm reading A Certain Hunger. I'm like 100 pages through it. I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with it. I'm making a reading vlog too. I'll explain more about like how I feel about it and what's going on in that. But I love it. Look at the bookmark I'm using. I got it from a cute little coffee shop. And look at the little K's on it. Gabriel! And then also there's some potential for the Kindle because I finished Zodiac Academy when I was at the gym this morning. As much as I want to start this, the fourth one, fifth one, this was the fourth one. As much as I want to start the fifth one, I want to read something else on my Kindle. And I do really want to read Dance of Thieves. I want to start reading Dance of Thieves and see if I like it. If I like it, I'll buy it, you know, a physical book because they have such pretty covers, but I want to read more duologies because I've been getting into so many series recently and it's stressing me out because I'm like halfway through all of them. No. Give me a duology, two books, boom boom, we're done. I'm clicking on it, I'm committing to it, I'm starting it. We're on a, like a good reading mood right now. Well, I'm gonna go find her and run in. What a cute little gloomy day to be at a bookstore. Tell me why we went to that coffee shop's one location. One location that they did not have indoor seating. Getting kind of gross outside now, it's starting to sprinkle. But we went to that really cute shop and I got some stuff for my Kindle because I haven't decorated my Kindle yet. One, this is so cute. It's a little pin. Felt like I needed it. Felt necessary to my life. Um, but I got like a little pop socket and a little sticker. So I didn't get a ton. They actually have a lot there that I want, but I need to go back when I have furniture to actually put that stuff on. Cause I keep running into that issue. So I got this sticker. It says, I have once again decided to be difficult. I might put this on my phone. I don't know. Um, but I got this cute little pop socket cause I was looking at actually one that looked just like this from Etsy, which typically I would buy from there, but this one was right there and it was such a cute little store. So I was like, I'll buy it here. So I'll probably put that on my Kindle today. I tried to start reading Dance of Thieves, but I was just so overstimulated by being outside and it was so cold. But anyways, I drove like six minutes down the road. I found a cute little bookshop and I really want to go in and find a book. I don't really have anything in mind. I'm thinking maybe tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow or maybe like a small memoir or i don't know i want to read something different i don't really have anything specific in mind but i've never been to this bookstore before either it's literally called the bookshop i think it's in east nashville i think that's where i'm at right now but um yeah i'm gonna go in and just kind of browse around we'll see we'll see what happens Okay, that place was really cute. And they had little like personal notes everywhere. Also, I just did a little blind date with a book thing, but I had to do it myself because Barnes and Noble didn't do it this February, but they had them there. So next time I'll just go back there and buy a book. Also, there was a sign that was like, don't take pictures of the books, like just buy it or something like that. And I was like, does that mean I can't film in here? I don't know. 
but it was only like one room. I'm gonna buy it and just head out. But I'm so excited about what I bought. I picked up and I almost got tomorrow, 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 because I came in and it was on the big display and I was like, okay, this is a sign. I should get this book. I just talked about it, but I saw this on the shelf and this one is one of the ones that had the little like personal notes written on it from somebody that worked at the bookstore. It's Kim Ji Young, born 1982. And I've had this one on my TBR. I put it on my like 2023 TBR and it's like on my Goodreads want to read the whole thing. But I saw it there and it's so tiny. And then I read the back. Tell me this doesn't sound so good. This is what got me. Okay. So it says written with unbearably clear sighted perspective. The novel tells the story of a mesmerizing woman after quitting her job to take care of her daughter Strange symptoms appear. Ji Young begins to impersonate the voices of other women, dead and alive. That's so weird, I love it. Okay, she plunges deeper into this psychosis. Her concerned husband sends her to a psychiatrist, but can her doctor cure her or even discover what truly ails her? That sounds so interesting. What? So it's like, I'm getting it, I'm reading it, I don't care. And on the front, no, not on the front. I don't know, there was like a, there was a review that said something and now I can't find it. I swear it was on either the front or the back of the book. Maybe it was, you know what it was? It was the little note that they wrote underneath it. It said something about how it was very thought provoking or it was, I don't know, I don't know. It sold me on it though. So I bought it and here we are. And they gave me a little bookmark, very cute. But like I said, it's super short. It's um, 163 pages. It's got a reading group guide at the back. I honestly always like those because it's for book clubs, but it usually ends up asking questions that I myself have asked. And sometimes it's clarifying that the author wanted you to ask those questions. So even if you're still confused by it, it's like more clear that it's an intentional question you're supposed to come to. So that's appreciated. But it's by Cho Nim Ju and Jamie Chang translated it. So I don't know, it just sounds really good. It's set in South Korea. It says, the global sensation that ignited South Korea's new feminist movement. We stan it. We stan it. What else can we do? You know? I mean, there's nothing else to do. So the font is big. It's I just, it's everything I could ask for. So I'm gonna start this today. Also, can we talk about how stunning the cover is? This week we're getting things done. I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna have a little self-care read night and I will meet back up with you when I have an update. Day. So I am about to go edit with my friends Kristen and Carly, which subplot. You guys know Carly from the Boston vlog that I did. Really fun. We like go book shopping and it's just, it's a cute time. She's finally making a book tube. I'm so excited. Her and her sister. So I'm about to go over there and edit with them. But first I wanted to put my little pop socket on my Kindle because Kristen has a candle and it's decorated really cute and I just want to emulate those vibes. I think I'm gonna put the tiny little sticker that I got on my phone now. And this little thing, I'm obsessed with it. It writes really well. You know, I've truly never used a pop socket on anything. So if I apply this long and it's stuck there forever, I'm gonna be really upset. Also, it looks like I've started the Dance of Thieves duology. I haven't. I just clicked on the book, but I'm really excited to read it. I hope it's good. I think it's high fantasy and I don't know. It's just the covers are really pretty. I just, I really hope I like it. So here's what we've got going on. It's so cute. Okay. Oh no. Have I just peeled off? Okay, yeah. I almost peeled off the entire adhesive, so we're off to a good start. Oh my God, where do I want to put it? There? Does that look good? 
Sure, okay. YOLO. Okay, it's sticking, it's sticking. I didn't think it was that close already. It doesn't come with instructions, so I guess I just, I guess I just do this. Oh, it turns, okay, it's nice. Wow. I think my life's changed, honestly. I really like it, cool, okay. I think I'm probably gonna finish A Certain Hunger today. I think I have 50 pages of it left. She's doing a lot. Um, I think she's doing a lot more than she's telling us to. Okay, I'm gonna head out, but in the meantime, since two of my best friends are now starting a booktube, if you have any recommendations or things that you wanna see from us, please let me know because those are my girls. First time using my oven, very excited, making some gluten-free pasta. But I thought that I would just film like kind of a little wrap up. I wasn't really planning on doing this, but I need to tell you about these books. So Kim Ji Young, I literally read the first chapter. That's it, page 12. It's already really good and very interested. It really just jumped straight into it, like within the first page. And so it's kind of going through the first few instances of her experiencing these weird symptoms. So I do like this so far. And it reminds me of like a biography writing, but not in a boring way, in just a very like cut and dry, but I like that. We've got that one going. And so I've actually read kind of a good little bit of Dance of Thieves. I think I'm only like 10 or 11% of the way into it, but that's like a little over 50 pages, I think. It's getting so far throne of glass but kind of what i was expecting from throne of glass because the first book y'all already know about the first book a little hunger games cosplay a little too inspired just like lacking depth this is kind of what i expected from that so it's really fulfilling kind of that like high fantasy, no technology world, there's probably gonna be wars going on type of vibe. And it also keeps mentioning, there's like this metaphor involving dragons and Axo. Oh, oh, I should probably get that out. But anyways, basically just a metaphor to say, things come back around, there's always gonna be some type of challenge or issue that comes up, so like be ready for it. But it would be really cool if there was actual dragons in it. It's got kale in it. So far we've met so many characters in it too. It's like kind of overwhelming at first, but then I have to remind myself, it's the beginning of the book, or she wrote it that way because she knows you're gonna catch on as the reader. So I'm trying to keep everyone's names straight. Um, it seems like it's this Yogi of, I forget what her name was, but it's really cool. I could probably just look it up. Kazi, her name is Kazi. It stands for something longer, but I don't feel like flipping back to the very first page on my Kindle. And she's this like used to be a thief turned queen's guard type of thing, like elite member of this queen's task force. I don't know what else to really call it. And then Jace, which is the newly crowned king of some land close by. I don't know, they might be connected. They're at least supposed to be in a treaty. Like they're supposed to be peaceful between each other, getting along, remains to be seen. So it's the two of them. Honestly, I don't know if it's just fantasy. I don't know if there's a love story subplot going on. I kind of feel like there's going to be because they've already met. I have high hopes for this one. I really hope it's good. Fingers are crossed. If you've read it, please tell me how you felt about it. Also, I'm really digging that it's a duology, so 
Okay, and then this goes in for 15 more minutes. Crispy. I would expect nothing less. But yeah, that's what updates I've got for you. I finished a certain hunger. And I'll be uploading that reading vlog pretty soon. Let me know what you think I should read next because I'm kind of at a crossroads here. I usually have it very planned out. I'm very like meticulous. But right now, I'm kind of just seeing where the vibes take me. So if you have any recs that you want me to read, let me know. And um, I see you probably for that certain hunger reading vlog. So bye. Is that cringy?